This is Dove oh. soap. Okay, soap. Now, the ironic part is this person looks like they don't use soap. Oh, oh she doesn't use fucking soap at all. No. Nah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Blabs, please read. I don't wanna. Dove recently partnered with BLM and fat activist who made up a hoax about a white woman and destroyed her life. What one year of is other it, recent campaigns, Shut up, Muslim. One of their other recent campaigns is called The Pits of New York Ale, which features obese people showing up their hairy armpits to address underarm stigma. They also plastered the New York City subway with images of hairy underarms. Does it miss make you want to purchase Dove products? No. I support underarm stigma. We should be bullying bitches that have hairy underarms. All women that have hairy underarms should be fucking bullied. Mocked, I... shamed publicly. Yeah. And you should but all be encouraged to do it. To get it Did you say shamed or shaved publicly? Because that's Both. two different things. They Both. should be held down and shaved, yes. Are you going to shave them yourself? I'll fucking do it. I feel like you might nick them and just get, like, their skin. I'm telling you, man. We're going to hog tie these bitches. We're going to spray them with soapy water. And then we're going to shave them. And then we're going to tap them. them I don't want to touch them, though. I don't know. Lethal uh, seems really gloves. into this. If you wear gloves and, like, a face mask and, like, a respiratory I want the full, like, like, hazard suit. Yeah. I'm coming so, in yeah. dressed up yeah. as the government from E.T. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, which will be which will be um like on our Rumble exclusive when he yep. does it. So. And we're gonna tag them and put them back in the ocean where they belong. I hate the ocean. These creatures came out of the fucking ocean. That's <laughs> <laughs> some fat bitch. Oh, oh dude, you know what? Even the fucking fat fish bitches whales from the oceans, at least they fucking clean themselves. This is disgusting. Absolutely well, disgusting. I mean, technically they are. They're getting dove soap. I don't think they use it. I think they're just taking the money. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, uh, I'll take the money, but I won't use your product type of situation. Yeah, yeah. Like know. people that get paid to sponsor Coke and they go, I don't fucking drink that. Yeah, they take one sip and spit it out after the cameras are turned off. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, well, that's let's listen to what this fat, disgusting fuck has to say. Fuck. I'm partnering with Dove to talk about underarm stigma. Ah! Even though I haven't shaved uh -oh. my armpits in 10 years, I sometimes still get self-conscious oh, showing fuck. my underarms. Oh. When I'm feeling the urge to shrink myself and hide parts of my body, I stretch my arms out wide and remind myself to be free in my body. Dove is reminding wait, 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 us stop. all to stretch our arms. Did she, say, did she say when she when she shrinks herself? How does she do that? Be free in my what body. Self and hide parts of my body. Her bag arms. Is scary. When I'm feeling the urge to shrink myself and. I think she means like eyes. shrink her personality or something like that. Oh, okay. Ryan, you're a smart dude. I would like you to take one look at this image and tell me what fucking personality do you think is there? A fucking bad one. <laughs> <laughs> Hide parts of my body. I stretch my arms out wide and remind myself to be free in my body. Dove is reminding us all to stretch our arms out and live life to the fullest with their latest Subway campaign. No. If you have underarm hair and you're an ugly fat bitch, you should not be stretching your arms out at all. No. <laughs> Did you know that 50% like of, oh. of people say that they've judged themselves because of their underarms? Next time you catch those thoughts creeping in, just stretch out your arms and remember that underarm stigmas are just that, stigmas, and not a reflection of who you are. Yes, they are. Comment oh, below shit. if you've ever felt any shame or stigma over your underarms. You fucking should. You fucking should. Kenzo, you don't like underarm hair at all, right? Uh, no, no, not on whip. No, no, just no. no. <laughs> <laughs> just stop. stop. That's just disgusting, <laughs> isn't it? This is absolutely fucking disgusting. Blabs, have you ever found yourself, you know, with like friends, female friends that are disgusting and have underarm hair and shit? Honestly, no. Oh, really? What the would you do? Time the only oh, time God. ever is if, like, we're growing it out to get it waxed because you have to have it at a certain length for it to wax off. But, like, you hide your underarms when that happens. It's not like you're going, oh, what the hell? Everyone's like, I feel disgusting. I feel like a woolly mammoth. Like, that's the type of attitude we all have. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, no, nobody does that. That's disgusting. Yeah, yeah, also, no one I don't wants have to see... any whales for friends either, so. Can mm. I? I was just saying, no one wants to see Bob Marley hanging out with a lady's armpit, man. It's, it's, it's not a good look. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> uh, Moz, you've been a bit quiet, mate. How are you feeling? 
I feel like I'm going to throw up. Fucking disgusting, like, bitch. You don't like fatties? Don't like fatties. Women. So pit. No. Uh, nah, it's disgusting. Oh, <laughs>